Hello, in this video we're going to go through how to configure your forms and your HTML pages uh, so that you can use the super submit system and we're, uh, for those users using Dreamweaver. Alright, so this uh, little pop-up came up here by uh, clicking on the instructions button if you haven't found it already. We're going to want to grab this code here, just like we see. Copy that. Alright, then we go over to Dreamweaver and we find ourselves our contact page. In the contact page you will find the form in the main body of, of your page. Um, you can find this by you know going to design view if you wish and then finding your little element here like one of the input boxes, clicking on it and then switching over to code view just to give you a little bit more, uh, more visibility for the code. Then place your, your form tag just below the one that's here. You're going to want to retain if there's any role or classes as attributes you want to keep those so copy them into the new form tag and then delete the old opening form tag. So it should look something like this. You're going to want to make sure that the action is uh, super, uh, super submit uh, or slash submit and then uh, your form identifier. And then you want to of course make sure that the method equals post. Now um, this is just one form in the page. In many of uh, our website templates from i3d themes we also include a global form which can be found in a contact panel or in um, maybe a drop down um, uh, contact menu box. Uh, in this particular one, um, we have a contact panel. So what we do is we uh, we can open up the contact panel, and we're going to find ourselves another form right here. So we're going to need to make sure that we go and update that. I'm going to go back to my just grab this, and then back to Dreamweaver, paste that in here, and again we're going to want to retain the the class and the role. So we copy that, paste it into our form tag here, and then hit delete on the previous one. Okay, so uh, that's the first step. Okay, and we can when we hit save on this, this is in Dreamweaver going to update everything, all the pages with the contact panel in it. Okay, so now I'm now done. I hit uh, close, and of course I want to make sure that I save the contact page, but we're not quite done yet. So the next step here is we move on to step two. Well, I we really recommend that you use Google Recaptcha, um, and uh, to use Google Recaptcha, we need to go and get ourselves a uh, site key. So we're going to go over here. I'm going to go and create ourselves something new. So this one's going to be I'm going to give it a name of Super Submit, and then over here we're going to. Um, say super submit .code. Now you don't need to enter in the www part, but this one key is going to be used for super submit .code, All right. So what we do is we hit register, and then we go and grab ourselves the site key. We just select it, we copy it, we go back here and paste, and we're going to watch the little gear go round. Does it save? It saves. Very good. Okay. The next step is to grab the secret key. Okay. Copy that. Go back to our interface paste it, watch the gear go around, auto saves it. So now we're done with that part. Now we need to go grab this JavaScript portion here. So just click on there, hit control C to copy. And then we're going to go into, because this is a, uh, we have a form that is used across the entire site up at the top with control, uh, the, the contact panel, we're going to need to place this in the template.dwt file just so that it gets uh, put out throughout the entire site. I would recommend you place it right here, okay, and then save. Now this is going to update all of your pages that are associated with this DWT file. Um, if you are using a website that doesn't use a DWT file, then you can just place that in the head region of your page. Uh, and again, that you'd find that, and I'll show you where that is in this example page here. You can place it, you know, just just before the closing head tag. All right. Now, uh, as you noticed here, this web page uses a DWT, and many of the regions are locked, so you can't go and change it unless you were to modify the, the template.dwt. If you only have the, um, if you only have a form on a single page, and you don't have a global form, such as in a contact panel or in a drop-down contact box, then you don't need to update the template DWT. You can just place it in one of these editable regions, just like this, and it doesn't need to be immediately before the closing head tag. It just needs to be somewhere within the head. We just say just before just to try to give you a place to look for. But it could be someplace like this. But because we already have it here, I'm not going to just going to remove that. We're not going to need to worry about that. 
All right, and then the final step, not quite the final step, my mistake, is to go and copy this little snippet of code here and place it within your forms where you want the CAPTCHA. Okay, and, and obviously I've been using the term CAPTCHA and ReCAPTCHA. ReCAPTCHA is the, the name of the type of CAPTCHA provided by Google. But it, what a CAPTCHA is, is, it is a human verification step. Basically, uh, it prevents uh, automated bots from submitting spam via your form. You really, really, really want to use this. You don't want to be getting spam, right? So we move on to, first we'll do the contact panel LBI. And we're going to place this guy probably right above the submit button, okay? And now you might need to, once this is done, change the number of rows for the message and resize the, uh, the different um, aspects of the contact panel or the uh, contact form um, that you're using because usually it's a sort of a set height, but we're, I'm just going to change the rows to two in this example and then I'm just placing the recapture div right below there. Actually, you know what? My mistake. I'm going to place it just below the text area, just like that. So I've saved, saving that, hitting update, making sure it updates across all my pages. Hitting close, going to the contact page, and doing the, let's just scroll down, where did we find the uh, form tag? Again, what we're probably going to do for this particular form is I'm going to place it just above the submit button. And you'll see why in just a minute. And now you can play around with where you want it. Now, all we need to do is make sure that, oop, did I not update that? We're going to make sure that that's updated. Close. All right. Now, I'm just going to put up the contact HTM page, because that's the only one that I'm going to use for this example. OK. And then step three is to submit my form. So let's go and uh, go to where we need to go which is supersubmit.co slash oh, example. That's where I've got, oh, my mistake. Let's try putting out contact.htm. There we go. Looks like I maybe haven't put out all my site files. So I'm just going to pause while I do that here. All right, so now we've got the page displaying, and we have our forms on the page. We have our form, and now we have the capture just below here. And in the contact panel, we've got the capture. And you can see that it's probably not displaying as we would like it. Um, and so we might have to do some CSS styling uh, to place it where we would like it. Um, that sort of goes beyond the scope of this particular video. That's where you're going to have to uh, you know, uh, mess around with some line breaks or maybe some, some padding for your, your div block. But obviously, the, the capture is there. If we were to hit send, it's going to say, whoa, it's been initialized. Fantastic. Your form is now set up. And if we were to go back in here and uh, close this down and reload our page, we're going to find that the form is now, now enabled. Now that we've done that, let's just go back here. Okay. Now that we've, we've done that, I'll even submit this form. See what happens. Oops, it looks like the recapture. Human verification check was not completed. So this is going and showing you that the form uh, submission will only work if you check that checkbox. Submit, and there you go. It's submitted because we don't have uh, the form set up yet to submit to a special confirmation page. It just resubmits the same page that you uh, had submitted the form from. But um, that goes, uh, if you want to go into more detail about that, you're going to find that under your settings. And uh, depending upon um, which subscription you have, you'll have access to different uh, features here. But um, yeah, explore it, and I, I hope that uh, gets your form up and running.